Hi folks, uh, don't worry about the spaghetti that you see here. It's really just a few cables, uh, straightforward. My USB converter there. Uh, well, I've just plugged my laptop to the power. Uh, the 240 VAC power there. Then I've plugged the interface module. Uh, power supply this one then i'm going to plug the obd2 connector cable uh, which is this one oh so the him really is just as the name says, an interface between the car and the laptop. This is the screen. So when you switch on the software, the Honda diagnostic software, you click on the F2 icon and you select your market and your DTC type. Here there is either the Honda or the SAE one. Or then you also select HIM because that's what we're using. So let's get to it. I'm going to switch on the car, then we'll see what we're having. When the F2 button doesn't work, you look for the other one on the extreme right that says select new car. When it pops up, you enter your VIN number if, if it hasn't automatically picked it up via the HIM. <clears throat> uh, then you also select your model year and your model type, which in our case is HRV. Uh, now go for diagnostics. Um, we've got the ABS, the SRS. ETC brake system blah 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 and scroll down okay so you've got a whole lot of options here that you can diagnose um, right my menu I went to the body electrical then i went to dtc monitor tool to check any dtcs associated with the uh, electrical system in particular the keyless entry system and this is what i got i've got a it has picked up a vsp sensor failure so hopefully this doesn't cost much <coughs> video was just to show you how to set up and use your Honda interface module as well as the software for connecting uh, via the interface module to the car. Thanks for watching. See you next time.